Hey guys, I just wanted to make a video about a certain species of cichlid that I find is really cool. Um, I might butcher this name, but here it is. Neochromis omnicarolus. I will put the name down. Um, I'll put the name down so you can see it. Um, this fish is really, really cool. It is a Victorian half, um, coming from Lake Victoria, obviously. And, like, the contrast on this fish is really good. Like, you see, it's black and white. This fish, uh, eh, it's not, like, it doesn't have a full black and a full white, if you know what I'm trying to say. Like... It's kind of like speckled in between and all that stuff. And it, look, and it actually looks like a Dalmatian, you know? Um, their common name is Tricolor Fulu. Um, the pH can be between 7.0 and 8.0, and they are an omniver omnivorous fish. So, you know, like most peacocks, haps, you know, that deal. Um, they should be kept in tanks over 55 gallons, and apparently males aren't tolerant to each other, and this fish is one of the more aggressive fish. I haven't kept this fish, obviously, but I think it might be like an erotus equivalent, you know, like erotus is super aggressive for Mbuna, and um, this fish might be super aggressive for Victorian Heps. I don't know, but it could be equivalent. Who knows? Uh, they come in white blotched, which is the one that I like. Um, there are orange blotched, green blotched, I mean green, and yellow, according to the cichlid form, which is a site I like to use. And another note, um, if you get your hands on this Victorian hat, or pretty much for that matter, any Victorian hat um, that you find is like rare or like hard to find, uh, please breed it. Um, these haps are amazing and, you know, there's a lot of pollution and the Nile perch. I don't really like that. That was probably affected the African cichlids keepers the most. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so they're threatened by pollution and, you know, I, you know, there's a ton of fish like a ton of Victorian haps like this and they have such good colors and all that stuff. Um, here's my uh, Victorian hap. This is a Pundamilia nyerii. I probably didn't say that right. You can see he has a bunch of skin flukes and all that stuff and he's been beaten up a little bit but you, as you can see with this fish um, I had this fish for over a year. He provides a really nice red color. Like, you can see all these fish, like these fish, like these fish and those fish. I know redfin borealis have a nice red color, but for the most part, red is kind of, like, to get that nice and deep red and crimson or something, it's kind of hard to get, you know, in this hobby. So, that fish is perfect for having a red color. Um, so, yeah, this is one of the more common, you know, one more common Victorians. Um, yeah, um, I would totally love to keep this fish in the future, but you know, this is my second year of cichlid keeping, and I have so much more to learn, so I don't want to mess up with these fish. I don't want to mess up with that fish. And speaking of like skin flukes and all that stuff, my Taiwan Reef apparently got. I don't know, maybe gill flukes, like parasites. I, I have no idea, but I am I put them in a quarantine tank and things don't look too well for me. So I have no idea what's going on with him. Again, I haven't really seen it before. So wish me luck on that fish. Um, but I will make a video about internal parasites because you know those are pretty bad. So, yeah, uh, people are selling these, like, sellers are selling these, like, bluegrass aquatics, but um, I'm probably going to need more tanks, 
and I'd probably want to buy them in person too so I can get the white blotch variant. Um, so yeah, if there's anything wrong with this uh, information, you know, you can comment below and correct me. That's fine. Um, I'll put all the links to the sites that I used for this particular fish. So yeah, uh, thanks guys for watching.